So I define a cyber physical system as having four properties. First of all, it has a sensor to discover the state of the real world. Secondly, it has an actuator to control infrastructure to change the state of the real world. Thirdly, it's connected to the internet. And fourthly, it interacts with people. And these four properties are essential for a cyber physical system. My name is Jim Woodcock, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the journal Research Directions in Cyber Physical Systems. I'm the Professor of Software Engineering at the University of York here in the UK. My specialisation is in the foundations of software engineering. I'm most proud, technically, of the industrial projects that I've been involved in that have had critical properties. But I'm also uh, very proud of the students that I've taught, the undergraduates, the master's students, the doctoral students, and the people all over the world, particularly in the global south, that I've taught. Research Directions in Cyber Physical Systems is a question-led journal. Questions stimulate research, and if the community finds those interesting, then they're going to do research that answers those questions and takes the subject forward. The benefits of publishing in our journal are threefold. First of all, it's about collaboration. The journal is international, it's interdisciplinary, and it's open access. Secondly, it's about focus. You can contribute to the focus of our subject and its research directions by proposing questions and contributing to answers. And finally, by publishing in our journal, you'll be able to speed up the discovery of science and engineering in cyber physical systems. It breaks the boundaries of the publishing model. It cuts across the whole subject, it's interdisciplinary, and links together different research silos so that we can build on each other's work. I think the community will really appreciate the question-led approach, and I think it'll significantly contribute to taking the science and engineering forward in our subject.